What's good everybody, it's your boy Helms from Anthony Gaming, and today guys we're coming to you with a brand new video, and yes guys you saw from the title, it's the highly requested combo tutorial test hand. And right before we get into the video guys, quick shout out goes to our lovely subscribers, our lovely Patreon members guys, if you guys want to support the channel, maybe help us get a new camera here and there, better equipment, better Ranger videos, make sure you check that out in the link description below. Also join the Facebook and the Discord group. But anyways guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright guys, so now we're just going to power ourselves up quickly on camera, just show you guys how consistent this deck really is. You know, just to show you. And we will be doing maybe two hands in a row, maybe three hands, depending on the time. Um, I don't obviously don't want to bore you guys with combos, but yeah, this is really important for anybody who wants to learn the deck. So we're going to shuffle thoroughly. Hopefully we can show the extent of this deck. And yeah. So shuffle, no cuts obviously in the video and then an on-screen cut just to show you guys how good the deck is and now we're gonna draw so we got the ash blossom the raptor flamble guard unexpected die and another solar Raptor. all right guys so you look at this hand and this hand's like literally combo seven thousand different ways so you activate the unexpected die because like yeah like you you gotta use it so if you activate unexpected die you summon your only target alexander dragon Normal summon the Raptor, use Raptor's effect. Basically, you're gonna lean towards one zone, but then combo in the other zone, um, just so you have spaces available. So this is going to dump your Carboneton right over here, like that. And now you're gonna banish Carboneton, and Carboneton can summon from deck or hand, so you just special the Flamble Guard out of your hand, so let's put that unexpected die there. And now you're gonna Synchro summon the Old Raptor and the Flamble Guard into your Heart and soul of uh, the deck, Ib. and now we're gonna use Ib's effect to search the uh, one overall chalice spell or legacy spell. Sorry, some that. Now we're gonna activate it. We're gonna reborn Flamble Guard. Let's put this right here, and now link these two away into your Cyframe Gear, Cyframe Lord Lambda, Cyframe Gear Lambda, whatever you want to call it, right here. And now, Ibs Effect will trigger in the graveyard to summon your World Chalice Guard Dragon. So now this is really good because if we did get interrupted, we already had the additional Dragon level 4 lore on board. So we could actually just regularly combo, like if, if Ib got Hand Trap or if Overapt got Hand Trap or whatever. So now we're going to link one away, and you guys know what the combo is now, into the LP. And then Banish to summon the Flamble uh, Guard here, and then link away into the Pisty. And the reason why it's really important to actually have the Ash Blossom in hand is that right now, since you have three Link Monsters on board, your opponent would like most likely hold the Phantasmia for them to like literally draw four and then put back three. So that's the reason why the Ash is here. It's to stop the Phantasmia from resolving so your opponent doesn't, you know, really push for anything crazy. But anyways, yeah. So you go LP effect. LP's going to grab us Red MD. And now Red MD is going to use this effect to reborn Flamville Guard. And now we have one, two, three, four. So just like the combo showed, we're going to Link these four away into our Saryuja right here, obviously. So we want to utilize the Pisty effect. And now Saryuja is going to draw four cards. Right now what we're looking for is maybe like a black dragon, a white dragon, um, just anything because we don't want the overwrap in our hand right now. Like we, So we can replace two cards in our hand right now. Maybe even the Ash Blossom if we want. So we're gonna shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now we're gonna cut on screen again like this. Now we're gonna draw four, so we're gonna go Black Dragon, Destrudo, Fossil Dig, and Fossil Dig. So right away we're gonna put down the two Fossil Digs and the Raptor, put them at the bottom of the deck. Now we're gonna use Pisty Effect to Reborn again, so we're gonna Reborn the Red MD. And now we're going to use Red MD's Effect to Reborn Alexander Dragon. So now it's really important because you don't wanna clog your zones, but since we have access to cards like Destrudo and Black Dragon, it doesn't really matter. So now the main thing is, you can look at the board and you can kind of, I guess, understand what you want to do with it. You can choose to aggravate and stuff like that, just with the Black Dragon. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to aggravate. Yeah, so we're going to summon the Black Dragon here by banishing the Lambda, obviously. And now we're going to link the Black Dragon and the Red MD off into aggravate. And now the reason why I actually kept the Flamble Guard and the Alexander Dragon is because... Um, now this gives us a flex option to actually uh, borrow Savage them. This gives us a flex option to dwell with them. So now you'll see how. Because Black Dragon will trigger to search you the White Dragon. 
So that was like one of the most optimal draws Saryuji could have had. But our hand was actually just insane to the point where like it didn't matter. So now we're going to use Agrapane's effect to summon the hot red right here. And now we're going to link the Pisty and the Agrapane away to summon the Romulus. And our Romulus effect is going to trigger obviously and we know what that does. It adds Dragon Ravine to our hand. So now you guys can see like our hand like it just replenished itself right away. We have all these resources. So now we're going to activate the Dragon Ravine. We're going to discard the Distrudo for infinite pluses. And then we're going to dump the Tempest right over here. And if you already had the Tempest, we could like dump like an Absorel Dragon and stuff like that. And anyways, yeah. So now we have that. So now basically what we can do is we're going to link the Romulus and the Saryuja away into a Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. And basically now what we do is we summon the White Dragon by banishing uh, any dark monster. You, you kind of really want to banish like your Link too, so the Sky Strikers can't, I guess, Shark Cannon them and then kind of push harder. Now we're going to overlay these two uh, level fours into Abyss Dweller. And now we're going to banish two for Tempest. So what you want to banish here is, again guys, just like a relevant card. So like the Romulus again. And we can banish, let's go ahead and banish the LP and summon the Tempest. And now we're going to Synchro Summon the 1 and the 7 into the 8. So now Savage Dragon's effect will trigger on field to equip the Saryujita. So guys, again, like we're going to look at our hand and we're going to see what happened. Off of this test hand that we ran, we have an Ash Blossom in hand to disrupt any plays or we use it to solve the Phantasmia. We have a Heretic Seal Bounce, we have an Abyss Fuller, we have a, Fant uh, a Hot Red, and we have a Borderload Savage with 4 on it. So most of the times this board isn't being broken. And if your opponent like gets cheeky and sets up two monsters and you feel threatened, you literally just use Seal, bounce the monster, um, summon the Aether to banish the card. But yeah, so that was the first test hand guys, and now we're just gonna go ahead and quickly show you another test hand, just to show you the real power of this deck. Again, like the maximum consistency. That hand was like, that was a super average hand to be honest, like, uh, you're always gonna, you literally play extended the deck like that. That was a super, super average hand, so now let's do it again, we're gonna pass shuffle again on camera. No cuts guys, no cuts. Um, yeah. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Power shuffle, 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 shuffle. Just show you guys again, like, what the power of this deck can do, like, and you saw the extenders, like, I already had the level 4 on board, so... Even if my opponent like asked the uh, Overaptor or like stopped my play, like we still had access to like all these types of plays. Whoops, I'm taking my field center. Yep, so shuffle again, shuffle again. And then this again as well, like this. And now what we're going to do is we're just gonna again, 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 like this. Make sure your cards aren't together guys because you don't really want your cards together because that's how you brick. And now another on-screen cut. And then shuffle. And now let's see what we get. So we get an Alexander Dragon again, a Black Dragon, a White Dragon, a one for one, and a Call of the Game. So now literally looking at this hand guys, like I don't know if you guys can really see it, but again, this is full combo. Like this is full combo in many different ways. So initially the only play we have is to go one for one and discard the White Dragon. I mean not the White Dragon, the Alexander Dragon. And basically, this is going to get us our Lightning Grave for the Black Dragon. And we can summon any monster here, but we're going to want to summon the Flanville Guard, just so we can utilize Ibs Effect. And of course, like since our, it's our only play, even if they ask, we have to call it the game, so it doesn't matter. So now we're going to banish the White Alexander Dragon for Flanville Guard. And now we're going to link these two away into our Ib. And now it's actually trigger. It does suck that we drew the white dragon, but like I mean, it happens. Like it's still an extender nonetheless, and like even under cards like Abyss Dweller, I guess it's pretty good. But yeah, we add the one of, activate it to reborn the Flamble Guard, and then link these two away into the Lambda. So again, a super super standard play, guys. We got, and now it will trigger to summon the World Chalice Guard Dragon. So here again, like we have the one extender in our hand. So if any of these cards got disrupted beyond the call by the grave, we still have the white dragon river buster in our hand to continue the play. So yeah, like, like I said before guys, this deck is really insane, consistent and it literally puts up like these insane boards. And now we're going to banish to summon the final guard and then right here and then link it away. Whoops. 
into our pistie right here. And now we're gonna use LP effect and you guys know what happens from here. We go grab our red MD. Red MD's effect will reborn the flammable guard right here. And then we're gonna link off the four monsters into a Saryuja. Right here. And now we're gonna shuffle, shuffle, shuffle again. Oh, card fell upside down, whoopsies. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. You just make sure, yep. And now we're gonna cut on screen. Now we're gonna draw the four. So we got Carboneton, Quick Launch, Fossil Dig, and another Quick Launch. So now what, we're, what I'm looking for right now in the graveyard is the reason why I'm looking at it, to see if we resolve overwrap and we did not, but we already went through the Alexander Dragon. So we're gonna keep the best extenders. So we're gonna put back Carboneton, we're gonna put back a Fossil Dig, and we're most likely going to put back, and we're most likely going to put back a uh, white dragon just because quick launch gives us the ability to uh, have access to all these cards. If you don't want to discard them, you want to put them right here. And now we use Pisty effect, and we're going to reborn the uh, uh, darkest metal. Darkest metal will reborn the flammable guard. And now what we're going to do is we can quick launch to get another monster here. Yeah, so we're going to link again, guys, into the standard play Agrippine. Um, use Agrippine's effect to summon the hot red. And now we can do another similar Romulus play because you have access to those. Um, so yeah, we're gonna most likely do that. So yeah, we're gonna link these two away into the Romulus. Romulus is gonna trigger to add us a Dragon Ravine. Right here, where is he? Dragon Ravine. And now essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the Dragon Ravine. Use its effect to discard the Call by the Grave. To send Tempest. Yeah, we're gonna send Tempest. Here. So like again, like in the video I showed you guys previously, like this is in a very, very consistent deck. So we're gonna activate Quick Launch, our initial Quick Launch. Quick Launch is gonna summon us our Magna Rocket, or sorry, our Rocket Tracer. So now we still have the one Quick Launch in our hand. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to banish for Tempest. So obviously guys, like I said before, you're going to want to banish the Link 2s and the Link 2s if you can. So I'm the Tempest right here, and under this zone. And now basically what we're going to do is you can go... Yeah. So now what we can do is, we actually have a pretty, pretty strong board here. So basically what we're going to do is, we're just going to use the last quick launch itself. And we're going to grab out um, just any rocket monster. It actually doesn't really matter as long as it's not the four so we'll bring out the one so now what we're going to do is we're going to link romulus saryuja and rocket synchron away so four monsters into appaloosa and now we're going to use rocket traces effect to pop a card you you most likely want to pop the uh, world chalice card right because it's dead and dragon ravine can actually dump you abstract dragon to continue your plays and he's going to summon Silver Rocket. And now we're going to Synchro Magna Rocket and Silver Rocket away into Borderload Savage Dragon and Savage will trigger to get your Saryuja. So now guys, looking at the board again, we have a Hot Red Negate anything. We have four Negates on the Appaloosa and we have a Borderload Savage Dragon with four Negates. Like I just showed you guys two insane back-to-back -back hands, no cuts, guys, you saw this, no cuts. And like, just the sheer power this deck has is very insane and it's going to be a problem in the upcoming formats. Even post Megatons, guys, there are ways to play around those cards. So I don't want to see the comments saying, oh, he loses to this, he loses to that, guys. None of that. But anyways, guys, that was the video. Alright, guys, so that was the comment video, guys. If you're interested in any more videos or any other specific type of videos, make sure you guys let us know in the comment section below. Of course, don't forget to like the video if you like the video, guys. Let's aim for 100 likes. And like me and my best friend, EJ, I always say, eat your veggies.